Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to the channel rvccis.info, where the full-time, well, in this case, representatives uh, from the Computers and Information Systems Department at Rock Valley College get together to talk about things, roughly speaking, related to computers. Howdy, everybody. With us today is Jim Conley. Hey. Stephanie Washer. Hi. And myself, Eric Wolf, to talk to you about the opposite side of the coin from our previous episode. So instead of things to avoid when buying, you know, whatever your next uh, laptop or desktop is going to be, things to look for when buying a laptop or a desktop. So you'll notice some of the same themes, but with different numbers, I suspect. Uh, so who wants to take us out? I'll go. Uh, I'll look at RAM and I think the bare minimum you should get is eight gig. But if you can afford it, if your pocketbook is, uh, you know, you got a little extra cash from your payday, get 16 gig. Um, and then if you're really, really serious, you know, you're like Stephanie and you've got eight virtual machines running and Eric has got all his video editing software going, maybe 32 gig. But, you know, eight gig would be great. 16 gig, 32 would probably be more than enough for most people. Yeah, 32, I would think, is like overkill, even yeah. for most people. Yeah. I actually suggest 12 when people Do ask, you? like, if if you can find it, Lenovo oftentimes offers 12, uh, and some of the Dells oftentimes will offer 12. Those are the way to go, because it's that happy median between, you know, not enough and too much. It's just right. It's the Goldilocks zone of RAM, maybe. Yeah, if you look at it, though, you want to see if they have the same amount of RAM in each of the sticks. So mm -hmm. like on the desktop end of things, if you have um, a 2 gig, well, it would be like a 4 gig stick and an 8 gig stick, you want them all to be either 4 or 8. You don't want them mixed in. So that's right. the only thing about 12 gig is you don't see 6 gig sticks. So That's true. Yeah. And and the only reason I say that is because that's I've had to fix that before. But if it comes in the laptop that way, then then it should be just fine. So well, that's the RAM, and then we go on to processors, most likely, right? Mm -hmm. I always look for. I'm an Intel person, so I always look for. Um, for me personally, I always go for i7. Um, I5s are fine if you're on a budget, and um, I try and look at the i9s, but they're too expensive. And then on the AMD side, I really would love to have an AMD Threadripper, um, but I look at AMD Ryzen mm -hmm. and they've got um, the Ryzen 7 and I think a Ryzen 9 as well. Yes. So those are the kind of the ones that I look at. Um, and then I look at the reviews for those because you never know, like they have like a 2000 series in the AMDs and a 3000 series and which one is the best. So you want to make sure that you kind of look at those things to make sure that you know which one is the best out there. Yeah, and if I can put in a suggestion here, if you can afford it, we're, we're trying to be frugal uh, 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 as much as possible, but if you can afford it, the 10th generation of the Intel processors, the, the video card, you know, the built-in video uh, processor in there is so much better than the previous uh, generations. Um, right before all of the stuff hit the fan. Um, I just happened to find myself at a Best Buy shopping for laptops because we're idiots. Um, and they, they had the Dell XPS 13, like the, you know, the, the de facto laptop that most people get now, um, which are really good laptops actually. Um, and they had the same spec next to each other. So eight gig of RAM, 256 hard drive. The only difference was one of them had the previous generation um, Core i5, and the new one had the 10th generation Core i5. All things other than that being equal. Um, I was playing around with it, so I always do the same thing. I go grab all the video that they preload them with, um, copy it and paste it like 10 times so it makes a 30-minute video uh, to see how fast they go. The, the 10th generation one absolutely smoked the previous generation one, and it wasn't even close. So... For those of you who are looking to do even like mild gaming or, you know, Minecraft stuff or whatever else, that 10th generation chip is going to get you way closer to where you want to be than any of the previous generation ones would be. I would think for storage, you should uh, definitely do solid state anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, 
they've come down in price so much. And, and I mean, you can still get, you know, HDD hard drives, but the solid state, at least for your core operating system running. And yeah, maybe you get a secondary HDD for your data file backup or something like that. But it, I really think you'd be silly nowadays to not do it. And it's probably harder now to get it just with HDD than, you know, solid state anyways, but still mm -hmm. that's what you should look for. They have a new solid state out. It's the M2 drives that look like, it almost looks like memory. RAM, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and it plugs right in and they're faster than the regular solid state than the SATA cables. So they're putting those in there now. So if you find that, and, and what they do is they'll put like 120 gig of the M2 and then they'll put like a SSD, I don't know, another mm -hmm. 128 or something in of SSD. And so, um, that would be good too. That would be okay. If you can though, you want, like, I think we said this in the previous one is you want at least 256. Yeah, so. for sure. You're going to fill it up faster than you think mm -hmm. with all of your ill begotten movies and music. So uh, uh, yeah, I tell one of my friends, I'm like, yeah, if you want to be cheap and get the 128 gig, then you better get yourself a one terabyte external or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, here's one I should have thought of before. Um, no reason I would suggest there's no reason to go ahead and grab like a 4k screen on anything. Just you're not, you know, really going to find that there's that much content for you anyway. Uh, 1080p screen on most laptops are fine. Um, but if you can find them a little more dense, that would be good. Uh, for those of you who want a gaming PC, which we're olds, so maybe we don't understand the same way you do. Um, but you can find uh, the faster the hertz, so the refresh rate, the better, evidently, uh, for your gaming needs. So you'll see 144 or even faster sometimes now. And if that's really important to you, go for it. Um, but the Dell makes some really fantastic looking 4K screens and the battery hit you take on those is so egregious that it's really just not worth it um but the refresh rate really can be worth it um especially if uh that's what you're looking for on a gaming laptop yeah and we can switch over to graphics cards if you want mm -hmm. and basically you got amd radian and nvidia geforce they've been around forever and they're all still pretty good staples and they um they're basically any type of those are in the top 10 of, of the graphics yeah. cards. If you can find one with a max Q, those are like the, the nice top of the line ones. Anything with a two gig graphic card is going to help you do things like if you're doing video for classes, it's going to help you do things, you know, like mild, mild gaming. Um, four gig, if you're expecting to do any kind of reasonable gaming at all, is really where you're going to want to start looking and go up from there. Yeah, AMD has a Radeon uh, 5700, RX 5700, that's like $400 at Amazon. That's pretty decent, but that's if you want to spend $400 on one piece of equipment. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, I was, I went cheap. I mean, because then NVIDIA has the GeForce that has a $1,200 graphic card, but you got to you gotta really figure out what you want. And you need to know, um, and that's obviously 4K, but mm -hmm. you also want to look and see what connectors are on, on it. You know, you, it's very easy to buy something and then not be able to connect it to you. Yeah, laptop. especially with <laughs> laptops now. <laughs> yeah. So I go through this every time we record one of these is I have to go run quick and find my USB-C to USB-A connectors because my MacBook only has USB-C. And for the most part, it's not a problem, but like every, mm -hmm. I'm trying not to swear, uh, but every microphone uses a USB, like the, the old traditional cable for it. And I cannot plug it into my MacBook for the life of me, which is a huge, well, it's not, it's a problem. Uh, so I have to go live this dongle life where I have, and I, I lose them all the time or I'll misplace them temporarily. So I have, there's one on this Mac. There's one always here on this table. I have one upstairs just in case I have, cause they're only like 10 bucks a piece. Uh, and actually I keep one over at my folks just in case 
I don't even know why I would have one there, but just in case, uh, like if the, the, the hit fits one in your wallet, really, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. There's two in my glove box. There's why I, I just, just in case. <laughs> oh, we like Chuck Conkle in 2620. Every time I go in there for a Cisco class, uh, he's got some sort of <laughs> dongle that he's mm-hmm. there waiting because he uses his iPad a lot, I believe. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That would be the, this one. Yes. All the time. Yep. Yep. I need a ton of those too. <laughs> I would also, if you can, is, you know, it's, I know a lot of people buy online, but I'd love to go in and see what I'm going to buy the model mm-hmm. and try to give them the business. You know, you obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you gotta, everybody's got to watch their pocketbook, but you know, you go to a brick and mortar store and you get to actually see what you're, you're getting which I think really helps because it's, it's yeah. always hard to just tell just strictly online. And I would go so far, and again, maybe this is because we're, we're the olds and everybody else is like, just get it on eBay. And I'm like, no, because like how many things have you gotten from eBay that are, no, 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 that's in perfect condition and you get it and it's like a, a beaten up soup can. And I'm like, I bought a MacBook Pro and you sent me a soup can. This is not the same thing. Yeah. And you know, one of the, like we mentioned probably off camera, so you guys didn't get to hear our long winded, what brands are best. We mentioned that brands kind of come and go. Sometimes they're fantastic. Then they'll slip a little bit. Other times, you know, they've been in the dumpsters and they'll come right back up and they can compete with the best of them. But really having a a computer because they're so expensive that comes with a warranty is always a fantastic idea because if you're, trackpad stops clicking that can be a huge issue or if you're you know the the s key on your keyboard is dead that's a problem uh so places with a warranty so um it's one of the things i know here in cis we've mentioned before is we love costco um and again because we're old dorks maybe um but if you can buy something from costco they essentially give you a three-year warranty on anything and I have yet to use it. Uh, I keep looking at like an iPad going like, you have four more months to die. It's never going to die in that amount of time because I just want yeah. them to flip me a nicer iPad. Um, but, you know, a Best Buy, um, a Staples, you know, any of those places where they have legitimate, you know, storefronts or warranty coverage, that's, that goes a really long way. Uh, Dell has come a really long way. Um, And I watched a thing just the other day where in the first week of testing their brand new XPS 17, the big flagship that they just came out with, the the trackpad started to slip in, 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 in under the case. So it wouldn't click anymore. And if you don't get that from a Dell authorized reseller, that's on you. And that kind of stuff would, would irk me to no, to no end. They should come one year at least. Yeah. Yeah, I advocate all the time for getting like open box stuff. My monitor back here is open box, but unless it comes with the balance of the warranty or whatever else, I just don't do it. Um, so at at any rate, warranty. Um, are there any other, you know, uh, honorable mentions or, um, you know, specific models or anything else that anybody has to suggest? Hmm. I, I really don't because, yeah, they just go in and out of, you know, I mean, they're already obsolete, you know, the model numbers and they keep changing. It's kind of like when I look at TVs and stuff and yeah. um, I don't, yeah, I just, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I just go to places that I trust for reviews or, you know, like um, Tech Republic has some things, but Tom's Hardware has, you know. Yeah. Tom Hardware is really good, yeah. Yeah. And and when I was looking for a motherboard that uh, to work best with VMware, uh, that's where I went. Was just I read a whole bunch of reviews on it and found out that I should really get an Intel uh, Sandy Bridge motherboard. Don't get this other one and get this specific model. And it was right on. But I went to a source that I knew was reputable, not just you know some dude on Reddit. So right, right. Yeah, Tech Republics. Uh, yeah, 
PC World. Hardware. We'll put them down in the comments too. Yeah, um, Tom's Hardware. Yep. Mm -hmm. And sometimes on Amazon, if it has a, like a thousand or two thousand reviews right. and they're mostly good, that means that it's probably good. If they have like three reviews and they're all awesome, I'm not. Yeah, be suspicious. That's, right. Yeah, that's like a big red flag for me. Has <laughs> laptop great awesomeness. I'm like, yeah, I'm. I'm sure they this were is paid. probably. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so nah, I I do tend to avoid those. Yeah, and the, but the other thing is, is if it's got a ton of reviews, it might be an older model. So you do have to kind of like That's sift true. all of that. So I know because there's one I'm like, oh, this has like twenty thousand reviews, and I looked at it, I'm like, oh, because it's old. Yeah, yeah it's right. fine. But uh, anyway, that's mm -hmm. that's something I think about too. So I will mention uh, that in our Twitter and Facebook feeds, you will find um, not only some suggestions from places because everybody right now is having their back to school bonanzas uh, for stuff. So we've got a buyer's guide from Engadget out there for some things that you might look for. I don't necessarily agree with them. They're they're super high on Chromebooks, and I just look. We you know <laughs> VMware no good. Uh, you know if you do development, not great. Uh, I would stay away from a Chromebook unless you absolutely positively know you're only going to live in Google Docs and Chrome. Um, but there are some suggestions there. Um, I also have, again, back at our social, at RVCCIS info on both Twitter and Facebook. You'll see we've got um, Dell is having a pretty good sale. So uh, they have a very, very well regarded. Um, gaming laptop, uh, laptop series, the G5, I believe it is this year. Um, some of those are down in the below $800 range, and those are actually user upgradable to a certain extent. So that would be good. Uh, Lenovo also has their Legion brand if you're doing the gaming laptop. Um, those can be had really inexpensively. Um, those are always great. Um, if you're doing Apple, I know some of you are thinking there's only a matter of time before they mention Apple again. And you are right. Um, here it is. Uh, if you're going to do an Apple laptop, I honestly suggest that for almost everybody out there, the MacBook Air is more than sufficient enough. Do yourself a favor uh, and get it through the Apple Store for Education. Uh, not only will you get it for $900 instead of $1,000, which 10% is 10%, uh, if you buy it from now through, I think, the middle of September. Uh, Apple does this every year. They throw in something for free. Um, you can actually get the AirPods for free. So that's these. Um, and Or you can spend 90 bucks and get the AirPods Pro thrown in with it. And that's really a hell of a bargain because if you think about it, you're getting you know, $1,200 worth of stuff for 900 which isn't bad. So... Those are my suggestions. We knew you wouldn't be able to go through this without saying anything about no. Matt. We know you're paid, it. Eric. That's yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just a shill. I'm the stupidest shill ever because I'm like, hey, uh, you want me to carry all your water for you and I'll pay you to do it? Uh, so I'm the, the biggest kind of idiot when it comes to that. All right. So there you go. Leave us a comment. Let us know what kinds of things it is that you are looking for when you're looking for a laptop or a desktop or um, am I wrong that you should be either a staying away from Apple or B getting into the Chromebook life uh, be sure to follow us here on our channel RVCCIS info at YouTube go ahead and click that subscribe button or the like button also you can hit the bell to be notified of any content as it comes out um, on behalf of well, Chuck Conkle, who could not be here today. Uh, also, nope, this direction. Jim Conley. Hey. Stephanie Washer. See ya. And myself, Eric Wolf. Stay safe and stay sane out there, everybody.